a warm welcome back to the channel this mabati house has been featured on this channel a few weeks ago maybe three or four weeks ago you can check it out but the information therein was not exhaustive and due to public demand most of the viewers on this channel were had a lot of questions about this mabati house that i had not asked the owner initially the owner had reservation about appearing on camera and right now is here to answer all the questions that had been raised so keep it locked here so that you are able to know the costs you are able to know the kind of materials that were used on the interior and uh, generally how long it took for this mabati house to be constructed so karibu sana and stay put <laughs> And so what you're seeing on your screen right now is the back side of this house. Of course, the first window to your left is one of the bedrooms, which is uh, the guest bedroom. Then the WC area that is common and the kitchen. On this other side is the front, I mean the back side, the veranda that connects to the kitchen. You can see the kind of doors that have been used are just what you would use on any other permanent house. And here comes Mr. Seda. He will take us through the rest of the house. So, Mr. Seda, we are, you are welcome. We've invaded your home. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me once again. Yeah, as I've mentioned to you, we had a lot of questions from our viewers who wanted to know final details about your wonderful home. Yeah, yeah, that is why I'm here again. Sir, you're welcome. Thank you. So you can just uh, take us around your home and help us know what kind of materials you used. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which strategies you put in place so that you are able to come up with such a wonderful home. Sure. Yeah. Mm, so Probably, if you don't mind, you can tell us uh, the cost implications. Yeah, I will. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Uh, first of all, yes. Uh, I think I engaged uh, an architect to do for me to plan for me the house, mm -hmm. and there were several ones. Yes. He could do. And then maybe I go back to him for corrections mm -hmm. where I want what so that maybe it fits exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Generally, I've used my body, mm -hmm. iron sheet. Yes. Outside is iron sheet. Mm -hmm. Approximately there are around 126 iron sheets, That's both the roof and uh, the wall. Okay. Yes. Which gauge of uh, my body is this? Because I was financially constrained, I used 32 gauge, gauge 32. Gauge 32. Uh, at that time, it was going at uh, around 900 shillings. Gauge mm -hmm. 32 now is about uh, 1,200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No, the root of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. And For then. That was it. Yes. Uh -huh. That is the wall plus uh, roofing. Yeah, the wall plus roofing. Same gauge of Mabati. I've just used the same gauge. Okay. Because of, uh, what I had in mind is mm. a temporary thing. Mm -hmm. I wanted to come out of where I was renting mm. so that I come to my place because I was tired of paying uh, rent. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go up uh, to use 32 gauge mm -hmm. because of the financial constraint. Okay. And uh, I wanted something which would go very fast. Mm. And uh, I know many people might might ask. Mm. They see that it's good inside. Mm. Now they may ask why I did not go for permanent house. Sure. If you look at this my compound, there's mm -hmm. a space which I've left on this other side, which is bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, the other side. Yes. I was doing this as a temporary house which I was to use for a while mm -hmm. and then uh, later on mm -hmm. I was to do a permanent house on the other side okay. and uh, after doing this house to where it is right now mm -hmm. I'm thinking <laughs> another way around because uh, for sure people are saying that this is a good house you've yes. done your house now you should do some other investments mm -hmm. and that's what I'm thinking of now mm -hmm. as far as it was just a temporary house which I was to get rid of later yes. and then do another better house so initially when you had this in mind as a temporary house it means that the kind of finishing you've done on the interior was not the initial plan no the yes. finishing was in my was plan. the initial plan i wanted to be in a good place okay yes so yeah okay
are right inside the house in your living area. Yeah. yeah please be kind enough to tell us exactly what happened here in terms of, uh, of course, the partitioning, the lining on the wall, the floor, and of course the ceiling, the ceiling board. Mm -hmm. Yes. First of all, you asked if uh, the kind of finishing which yes. I have is what I had in mind. Yes. Be that. Uh, it was temporary. Mm -hmm. It was to be a temporary house when I was preparing to do a, a permanent house, yes. permanent house later, isn't it? Yes. The kind of finishing which I did is not what I expected it to be because I wanted to do more than this. Mm -hmm. I was to use uh, gypsum, mm -hmm. then later, due to money not being enough, mm -hmm. I resorted to use this board, the so, plywood. Gypsum on the on the walls. I was to use both on the wall and on the ceiling. ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you ended up using what kind of this wall? plywood? Oh, this is plywood. And it is six ply. It's oh. called six ply. Okay. It's heavier than uh, the three ply. Uh -huh. This one one was going at one thousand two hundred by the time I was uh, buying them. Okay. Mm, and I think they were about uh, forty eight in number, forty eight oh. pieces, okay. which has done the whole of these uh, houses. Okay, what is the size of this house? It's a three bedroom house. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a bedroom here mm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. We have a common washroom. Mm. It's a washroom come uh, washroom come uh, bathroom. Yes. We have a bedroom for the visitors. Mm -hmm. We have a, a store. Yes. Here, there's a store here. Mm -hmm. There's a kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have a master bedroom and sit. Okay. Yes. So. so it's a three bedroom house. Okay, thank you. So, as I said here, on the walls I used a plywood. On the ceiling, the chipboard. It will be a kawaida. Oh. Yes. So whoever did the interior of this house, it's not the same person who did the roofing plus Probably yeah, I, I had different uh, fundies to work on the to complete the whole house. Eh? Mm -hmm. The one who was working on the outer side, yes. the structure part of it, that's the roof and the outer wall, mm -hmm. is different from the one who did the board both on the wall and the uh, ceiling. I also had a different fundi who did the uh, tiles. Mm -hmm. And uh, the different fundi who did the cabinet. Okay. Yeah. So. And the wardrobes. Okay. Mm. And that, my dear viewers, is the reason why you should stick around to the end of this edition because at that point you'll be able to get all the contacts of the fundis who are involved in the construction of this beautiful Mabati house. Okay. I also had a different fundi for the electrical works. Okay. Mm. So each of these fundies will give you a quotation according to the kind of work you're sure, coming sure, to sure, do. Sure, sure. Uh, is it? And, and yes. in, most, most, mo in most cases, I was with them and they were working. Okay. I could tell them what I want to be done. Mm. And at the same time, if they could do any bad thing, mm. which I was not happy about, mm -hmm. it had to be corrected then and then. Then, then. I was fully here when the house was being done. Okay. And I knew what I wanted where. Okay. Yes. So, mm. so in terms of uh, costing, how 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 much is it possible that mm. we break it down in terms of maybe the ceiling because there were different fundies involved, the wall, mm. the floor. I don't know. I did not uh, <laughs> <laughs> see who put them somewhere. Yes, I could just be given. Then uh, yeah. I go buy. I give them their fee okay. for the services they were. But like ne like the, like for the board yes. which I use on the wall, yes. I can remember they were around forty eight pieces, forty eight oh. times one thousand two hundred. Okay, you can know how much it was. Sure. Then um, the iron sheet, mm -hmm. the outer iron sh sheet, mm -hmm. it was a total of around one hundred twenty six mm -hmm. pieces. Pieces. Yes. Each by then was going at around nine hundred, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So you can multiply 900 by 126. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the poles, I use these uh, jungle poles. Poles. Mm. Poles. These two poles are kawaida. So the poles were being used at which stage of uh, constructing this house? To no, to, for to the walls. Yes. They were to support the walls and to support the roof. Eh? Okay. Yes. So, so they were around uh, 
60 pieces if I'm not wrong. Are these round poles? Yeah, the round poles, okay. the ones called round poles. Mm -hmm. I used 60 pieces. Mm. 61 was going at around 160. Mm -hmm. so you can do your mathematics and then you... That's for sure. Yeah. And then I'm not are... sure of the, the number of, the number of uh, boxes of tiles which I used. Mm -hmm. I can't quite remember how many they were, yes. and uh, that bit of the tiles, I can't remember how much mm -hmm. it cost. Okay. But I, I think, in general, mm -hmm. the actual amount which I used kwa yi number mm -hmm. is approximately, approximately 950,000. Yeah. That will include everything in this house, to the state at which it stands right now, including the, fla the flash doors, yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. approximately that. Okay. Uh, so. Now, some people could ask yes. that why did I not go for a permanent house? Mm -hmm. I wanted to come out of where I was renting. Mm -hmm. Because this house, if I would be having money and material in place, mm -hmm. I could do it within one and a half months, completed. Mm -hmm. And uh, for a permanent house, mm -hmm. even if you have everything, you could not do it within that short duration. Okay. The short duration of time was how long? Uh, it went to around two and a half months. Okay. Yes, because some materials were not around. I had to look for some money out there. Mm -hmm. But if everything was in place mm -hmm. within one and a half months, mm -hmm. I would be here. Okay. And I was in a hurry to come out where or where I was renting. Okay. Yes. We get the point. Mm. In most cases, I've used the down lights like this one here, mm -hmm. and the ones at the sitting room. Eh? Mm -hmm. They are down lights. Okay. Uh, I just wanted a unique thing, something which is presentable. Okay. Yeah. And presentable it is. It is. Eh? Uh, uh, thank you. So, what <laughs> happens if this kind of light probably blow? It doesn't blow. It does not. No, 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 no. I've not had of such a case. Okay. But if it blows, that means that it will have to be replaced. Replaced. Yeah. But looks like it really does. It really does. Okay. Yeah. It's not like the usual bulbs we, we see. Not really. Okay. No, no. So, then you get on to the WC area. The quite WC area. Uh, I also use this down light. This is the light? Yes. This is the switch, yeah. Uh, now, for the toilets I have around, yes. I use bricks or wall. Uh -huh. I use bricks because I knew that uh, the what the boards will be rotting mm -hmm. and then okay we could stick these on the boards yes using there's adhesive uh, material which i've been used to stick them on the board mm -hmm. but i just felt that i should be using bricks okay well, well yeah my wc so which which came first now that you are constructing a section of the house using mabati and poles so i did i did mabati mm -hmm. i did mabati thing mm -hmm outside mm -hmm. and is when I did the what do you call it the, the brick. bricks this is the only part where I have a brick and, and, the and to confirm that to you mm -hmm. if you can see this non pole and can you see there's a gap there oh. so this is where the last pole has reached okay. then this section is brick. brick this is the only part which I've used brick oh. and the other side for the common uh, WCA what about the kitchen this, this, this forms part of the kitchen, it's in this wall, oh, this only wall. this wall, mm -hmm. only it this is wall. shared with the kitchen, it's shared with the kitchen, okay. this wall from here, mm -hmm. in fact, exactly from here, yes. back here, then it comes up to here, mm. that's the only part which is from the kitchen, but in other part, okay. there is no break in between, okay, this is a board, you see, this is a board which I am hitting now, Yes. there is no way, I can put a brick in between the boards. Why should I do that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, now that is clarified. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe if there's any other thing which you may feel that we... We tackle here. We tackle here. We can talk about it. I think we've exhausted the room because you, you had talked about the floor already. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. the finishing is really nice. It was to be better than... It was to be better than what I have because I wanted to use gypsum. Just mm. the way I told you before. Sure. But uh, this is what I've done. Okay. I didn't know that it could appear that good, but no. It is. It is. <laughs> Plus, the fundies did a good job. It, um, it has very fine finishing. Yeah, it's yeah, commendable. Yeah, I did a good job. Yeah, everything about mm. it is just wonderful. Sure. 
<laughs> this is what I was telling you. Yes. When you were at uh, the toilet um, bathroom, mm -hmm. I told you that you could as well put tile on the board. Mm -hmm. This tile is directly on the board. Ah. Are you getting it? Yes. So I could opt for this as well, mm -hmm. where we have the toilet and come the bathroom. Huh? Mm -hmm. But now, Hamper, she could work at anything. It's board all over. It's board all over. So it has been attached on the board using the, board. the adhesive you're talking adhesive. about. Yeah, I was talking about. Oh, oh sure. And it is strong enough. It's very strong. I always we talk about oh, okay. Yeah. By the way, this is a board. There's no breaks here. Mm, even uh, the, from the sound of it, it is yeah. purely board. Yeah, this is a board. Mm. Then what about the plumbing um, piping system on mm -hmm. uh, in the house? Because we have this one here, it is a drainage. How, how, how is it done so that it gets water to wherever it needs to? Is Just it? the same way we do it on the these permanent uh, walls. Mm -hmm. There is a pipe in between the board. There is a board here and a board on the other side. Okay. In between there is a pipe is which yeah which gets where ground allows me to be along the floor okay going getting outside so you think mm. like you are too through through the board evil you can end up uko nje about the electric the electrical system electrical system yes uh -huh. has it been done some the of them pipes. have gone through some of them have gone through the wall yes there are pumps but like the ones which are going to our sockets eh? mm. have gone through the wall and most of it is done the conditioning is done okay so it's just the same way we always do the the permanent houses so. Now for the switches, we have to make sure that where the switch is, the mm. wanna cut Okay. Uh, so. Then uh, giving it a, giving it a provision where it can be stuck on the wall okay. and, uh, using the screws and all that. So. Then probably we handle this room and the hot water system. <laughs> this one? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, just the same as uh, the master bedroom and suit. Mm -hmm. We also have a toilet here and bathroom, way, which yes. I talked about. Mm. This is the shower, mm. they have around here. And the wall is also brick. No? Yeah, the wall is also brick. Sure. This one and reason. the other one are brick wall. Okay. These are the only brick walls we have around. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. Maybe something about your water system because I know your supply is not the ordinary one. You have a pump. Uh, and a I have well. a, a pump. I have a, a, a sunk a, a well on the other side, mm. and I have a raised tank, yes. which is supplying water mm. all over this uh, house. Okay. Yeah. Yes. This is a well. We sunk it you by use of hand. So it's around uh, 34 feet. The water table here is not uh, that far. Okay. Mm. So after doing that, mm. kuna pump. Yes. Upper pump. Huh? Yes. Which to me sink upper. Mm. Then to maji chini toka kwa hii tank yenye tuko nayo hapa juu. Then from there, hiyo mm. water inatoka ina supply nyumba and these uh, taps which are put upper kwa compound. Okay. Sure. Uh, now you asked me about the switch which was there. Yes. That switch is what we are using to supply power kwa e pump. Okay. Uh, uh. So upper here to 
switch yake. Mm-hmm. So power ikitoka huko, mm. unaona iko on or through. Yes. So we control na hii. Mm. Hapa kuna switch pia. Mhm. Kini ni maybe you not for. Autasikia iki nguruma juu kuna maji hapo ndani. Okay. But now maji inatoka hapo chini mm. naenda juu. Okay, naenda juu. Well, very inventful. Mm. Mm. So mwenye ame I use different fundies. Mm. Mwenye ametengeneza hii tower. Mm. Is the same guy who did for me the gate. Oh. But different from the person who did the windows. Doors does anything welding kwa hiyo nyumba ni tofauti sure yeah. so why so they have expertise in their different areas no as much as they are all dealing with the chuma no mm. the guy who did for me the windows and the doors mm. i later realized that it was a bit expensive as compared to this guy. Oh. Now when I searched for this guy, yeah. I compared their quotations. And th- in fact that's the only thing which one should be doing always when uh, you want to have. Uh, yeah. You can do quotations, different quotations. Yeah. You get yeah. for different fundies, then you compare. Okay. But again, it yeah. depends with the quality which that guy will give you. Sure. So if you are sure that the guy is the guy who is cheaper yeah. will give you a good quality because at times cheap at times may be expensive. Okay. So you must make sure that you'll get the exact thing which you wanted from that person. I get you. So you did not disappoint me and okay. I'm happy about it. Uh, yeah. Then the tank is how how big is the tank? The tank uh, this tower should be holding 5000 liters tank. Mhm. But that one is 4000 liters oh. tank. Yes. So towers are constructed according to the weight that is intended. It will, it, it will be holding yeah. Oh. Because See, that will also it. determine the kind of uh, metals you are, how heavy the metals are, and all that. So. The base you are making, and all that. Okay. Because if I will be intended to do a 10,000 liters, I'm a 8,000 liters, oh. Uko Ju, oh. at least I will have used more you know, metals which are stronger yeah, yeah. than the ones which are okay. used to. Know. So, on a very rough scale, how much did this project cost you? This by the way for the for the tank Mm. for this uh, Mm. tower Mm. tower was around 72 that's material 72 72, 000 for the material okay then the guy minus labor minus labor Mm. Uh, then um, that tank was around 26 26 27 thousand okay yes how many liters? 4,000. 4,000. Mm. Oh. I was to go for 5,000, yeah. then uh, I opted for 4,000 liters. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the second bedroom, this and this is a stove. This is a stove, maybe you can have a look at the stove. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indios to Yangu Dogo, these are the produce from the farm. Yes. I have sunflowers here. This sunflower, mm. which I'm here to take to, for pressing a lafuni pate oil yango. Okay. Upper the maize, mm. and some few things which uh, uh, we are keeping here. Sure. So yeah. it is a functional store. Yeah, it's a functional store. Mm. Mm. Meaning you, 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 you've made it according to exactly what you wanted. Yeah, so that's what you I wanted. So struggle for storage. Sure. Yeah, uh-huh. this is wonderful. Uh-huh. Mm. Now, mm. for the kitchen, I had to look for different people who could do for me a good thing. Now, when I talk about the cabinet, mm. can you imagine that uh, there's one guy who wanted to do for me a cabinet for the old kitchen mm. at 300k. So I had, to, I had to shop around, look for someone who can do me a good thing the way it is. I think it is good. Mm, it is. At maybe affordable uh, price. Mm-hmm. So this was not done at 300k. Mm-hmm. It was cheaper than that. Okay. Uh, on uh, like this section yes. of water, mm-hmm. I would have used a board, but due to this magic, I felt that that board will get rotten in time and mm-hmm. the timber with time. Mm-hmm. So upper piano need to be a break. Okay. All upper, the four walls. Upper to ah uh, no not All the wall. The section. In anza upper. Okay. In anza upper. Mm-hmm. Pacacini. Only this section. Mm-hmm. Only this section. So. All of this now, Wuku Ivi, 
are bought the way they are. These ones are also bought the way they are. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a pair of adhesive material to stick. To stick tiles tile on, on the board. Okay. On the board of the wall. Okay. So up and you need to me and you need to get bricks again plus the sections which I showed you. This plane only. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. What about here? Because I can see no, tiles up all the, the way. Apo ni nitumia desi wakuna wala apo. Oh. Nitumia. Apo ni nini hakuna board si hapo kuna board. Hakuna okay. kuna board uh -huh. but there are no bricks there. Okay. Ah, si uh -huh. tumia board yes. Here it go clear. Yes. So the fittings were done by the same person who's done the sure. fittings in the bedroom. Sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Then this is a good invention. You may not notice there is a gas cylinder over there until you open the the <laughs> door, which is really creative. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what set else do you need to know from here? Let's Is see. The curtain rods, uh -huh. are they prefabricated or they, they are no, this ready, about, ready uh, made ones? They are ready made ones. That's oh, what ready made okay. curtain rods. Yeah. So then how were they fixed on uh, the wall? Oh, they're just being screwed Okay. the wall. Meaning the board, board is strong enough it's to strong sustain enough, this yeah. weight. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh. It is wonderful. Yeah. Mm. It is a nicely done house. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that now uh, the viewers get all their questions answered. Yes. Of course, the lighting system, we've talked about it. It is just as ordinary as we would get in a, a permanent building. Sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. So... and the doors, the outer doors, yes. they are just the Kawaida windows are still windows and the steel doors. Okay. Yeah. Uh, There's nothing unique about them. Mm. Uh, it, it's called one way. Mm -hmm. Whereby when you are inside, you yes. can Yeah, that's Quite what sure. I opted for. Okay. But you have the Kawaida paint, window paint, mm. which can also be used. So why is it not believable that your budget still stands at 950 despite all these pluses that you keep on mentioning? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, it was... I used much more than uh, that. Yes. But it's approximately that I said approximately that. Okay. It may go higher plus some amount or lower than that. Being that I did not keep my records well. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, probably a parting shot for the viewers watching this, anyone who has similar ambitions, what can you tell them in terms of uh, the general construction process of such a house? Maybe to those to those who are fed up with uh, paying rent, I would like to tell them that uh, they make a step. Mm -hmm. You can start by doing your materials, things like uh, iron sheets are not getting rotten. Mm -hmm. You can keep them somewhere, mm -hmm. till that time when you have enough material to do such a, a house. Mm. It's not a must that should be using the 950 or 1 point something million which people are maybe anticipating that maybe I used. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, you can do it according to your pocket. Yeah. Like this is a, pre a three bedroomed house. Mm. One can go for a two bedroomed house. Mm. One can go for a one bedroomed house. Mm. So it's not a must that you have to do the same size mm. as this one. As long as you want to come out of uh, you want to come out of uh, a rental, a rental space. space. Mm. But I really like to uh, encourage yes. those who are uh, who are in need of coming out of a rental place. Eh? Mm. I think having your place is the best thing so far you can do. Okay. Yeah, mm. I've enjoyed it. For the last uh, six months I've been here, mm. I've saved close to around 100,000 shillings. Okay. Because when it comes to rent, mm. it's 90,000 shillings. Mm. The nitty gritty, the, the little bills like for water and all that, mm. Around 100,000 shillings okay. I've saved for the last six months, so which I can use in doing some other things. Sure. Yeah. Mm. That is encouraging. Sure. <laughs> so, do you still have plans to construct the, the other version of a building <laughs> that you are talking about? No, and a big no. Mm. People have made me agree that this is a, as good as a permanent house. Okay. In that other space, I want to do some investments, mm. like Nataka uh, Kweka Kuku, okay. Apple for layers. Mm. I'm planning to do the Rigot, mm. that's my small space. Mm -hmm. If I get small space in between, mm. I'll also do maybe 
someday recap. Okay. Yeah. That is but I think that I'll be making that space remaining mm. will give me some good money. For sure. Sure. Aside from the ones that you are already uh, saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in terms of not paying rent. Sure. Yeah. Uh. So thank you so much for welcoming us here. <laughs> I'm very grateful for this second opportunity. Yeah, most yeah. welcome. Last time you found when there were some mortgages around today. Yes. I doubt if you react because you have really consumed them. <laughs> but uh, this is the good thing to be mm. in your own compound. Okay. Yeah, I'm a happy man. Mm. Um, I nearly bid goodbye to rent. Yeah. Um, for the last six months, the uh, agent calling me. <laughs> That <laughs> your, your, your month is up. Yeah, your month is up. You want to see the owner account? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'll just encourage people to mm. look towards this. Yeah. Sure. Thank you for being an encouragement. Karibu. Yeah, and for welcoming us into your space. Karibu, sir. Yeah, I don't take that lightly. Uh, I took it that years <laughs> first. <but laughs> so, sure. Okay, thank yeah. you. Sir, so, Santa, Santa. Yeah.